A local person already charged in a New York City murder is now charged here with a murder and dismemberment of a broken arrow man. Yeah, I first reported on Alex Ray Scott in 2020 when the suspect was on the run for a lewd molestation charge here in Tulsa County. This has been a wild story. That investigation led to the first murder investigation in New York City, which you're seeing up there, where Scott has been in custody ever since. New at nine, Fox 23's Catherine James is live breaking down the details of the case, which seems more like something that would happen in a movie. Cat. Now, some of these details are pretty disturbing. When I called the prison where uh, Alex Ray Scott was serving time, they said that he had that they had already been discharged and that they were in U.S. Marshals custody. Now, that leads us to believe that they could be headed right back here to Oklahoma. What started as a 2018 lewd molestation charge in Tulsa County has now turned into two murder investigations against this person, Alex Ray Scott. Scott is now charged in federal court with second-degree murder after allegedly killing and dismembering a roommate in Broken Arrow back in 2019. Let's take a look back at how we got here. Fox 23 first told you about Scott in January 2020 after Scott surrendered to New York City police for a murder there. At the time, Scott was also wanted here for alleged sexual acts with a five-year-old. The newly filed federal affidavit says during a search warrant, NYPD investigators found identification and credit cards belonging to Robin Skuckdobel from Broken Arrow, a man whose remains police eventually found in a Broken Arrow Creek. That's when FBI Tulsa opened a new murder investigation, and the affidavit says it was an ankle monitor Scott was wearing at the time that tells the rest of the story. The monitor data reportedly shows Scott going out of his way to cross the creek where Scott Doble's remains were found. The affidavit says the monitor tracked Scott to Walmart where, quote, transaction reports show a chainsaw was returned without a receipt. The affidavit says that there were people here in Broken Arrow that tried to contact that Broken Arrow victim after they disappeared in 2019. They say that they believe that Scott was pretending to be that person online and giving them vague answers and just trying to act like they were him, trying to hide the fact that this person was dead, they believe. All right, Kat, this man's body was found in 2020. One of the biggest things that we've been asking today, do you know why these charges here in Tulsa were just now filed in 2023? Unfortunately, that is still unclear and we're still working to figure that out. Reporting live in Tulsa, covering news that matters, Katherine James, Fox 23 News.